sao in ring shring ka e la ring asang ka hala ring ta ka la ring sao ain kling ring shring Namaste. So I want to give a quick and simple example of Paticca Samuppada, dependent arising. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that dependent arising only refers to like birth, death, and rebirth, karma, you know, for lives, for on the scale of lifetimes. But this isn't true. Actually, it refers to every scale. And I'm going to give a trivial example so that you can see how it actually works in everyday life. Okay, the example is going to be picking up a glass of water and drinking it. There. That was an example of Paticca Samuppada. <laughs> How is that? Okay, I guess I have to break it down. <laughs> okay, the first step in Paticca Samuppada is ignorance. Ignorance is of three kinds. Desire for, desire against, and delusion. Okay, so here the desire for is for a drink of water. And the desire against is desire against thirst. And the delusion is that I am this body which gets thirsty. And so I have to quench my thirst. Now, this doesn't start as a conscious thing. It starts as a feeling deep in our guts. Huh? And then as it rises through the chakras, the next steps come into play. And what are they? Well, the next step is Sankara. We did quite an uh, examination of Sankara in a recent series. Sankara is when we make a fabrication. Okay, so the fabrication is, my body is thirsty, so I'm going to use my hand to pick up this glass and drink some water. Okay, that's a sankara. That's a that's a fabrication. Okay, so what's the next thing? Consciousness. Now I become aware of myself as the body, and the glass of water sitting over there on the table. That's consciousness. And what's the next thing? Name and form. Okay, this is myself, my body. Right? And over there, that's the glass, and in it is some water. So I have names for all these forms, and then I have perceptions tied to those names, like labels. And so I label my perceptions according to my sankhara, my fabrication, and that in that way, I generate and, and reinforce the consciousness of them. So then what? Six senses. So I can feel my body here sitting in the chair and I can look over there and I can see the glass sitting there looking at me, <laughs> full of water, uh, nice, cool, refreshing water. Mm -mm -mm. So my tongue taste is also involved. And of course, posture of the body and so many other senses sensual perceptions, right? So then what? Contact. My senses contact the object, the glass of water. This could be by sight, it could be by touch, it could be by smell, taste, or whatever. In other words, now my senses are engaged with this object and it's going to lead to an action. And what is that? Feeling. Feeling means I feel thirsty. I want water. Oh, that glass looks so good. 
it's, it feels nice and cool. Ah, it's going to be so refreshing. huh? This is all feeling, positive feeling. And the negative feeling of, mm, I'm thirsty. I need something to drink. So that leads to craving. I want this water, right? And of course, craving leads to clinging. Here I'm literally clinging to the glass, right? This is my glass of water and I'm not giving it up. <laughs> so then what happens is grasping. I actually physically grasp the water, bring it to my mouth and take it in. And this is the becoming of taking a, a drink of water. But what happens if I keep drinking the water Uh, it's all gone. There's no more left. Oh, darn. That's the end. See, so that's dwindling and death. Decay and death is the end of the cycle of becoming for material things. So you see, the whole spectrum or the whole process of becoming applies to every single cycle of action in the material world. Whether it's big, like the creation of the universe, or small, a trivial thing like taking a drink of water. Paticca Samuppada is the all-pervading science that shows how things happen, how things come to be dependent arising huh? so it's such a beautiful name because everything that arises arises dependent on something else see like the arising of the universe is dependent on god there's no other way that it could be no other way that it could become unless there's some cause behind it something for it to be dependent on. And this power of creation, this is Shakti, this is the goddess. So you see, everything is there in Paticca Samuppada. We just have to see how to apply it. Everything goes through these same steps from ignorance to sankara to Consci to name and form, consciousness, senses, clinging, contact, craving, becoming, birth, uh, dwindling, and death. These are the 12 stages of Paticca Samuppada, the descending portion. Okay, The ascending portion is a similar process of becoming, but because the aim of Becoming, in this case, is enlightenment or nibbana, nirvana. Huh? In this case, it has the opposite effect. Instead of creating karma, it eliminates or destroys or actually just nullifies the karma. And we wind up getting liberation, which is, of course, the aim of all human life. Aum Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.